Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chuy Gutierrez and today I'd like to talk to you all about two things. First, I'd like to talk to you about this one. This is the Nanlite Forza 150B and this guy packs a punch much like its younger sibling, the Nanlite Forza 60B. They both share the same mount for quick and easy modifier mounting and they're both bicolor, which means they can switch from tungsten balance to daylight balance and everywhere in between and then some, which is really cool. This brings me to my next point by color. Why does it matter? To answer that, I'd like to explain choosing your color balance in camera first. The two most common terms are usually daylight and tungsten color balance. Daylight is the color temperature of the light you get from your window or the sun, usually around 5600K. That means if we set our camera to 5600K, the light from the sun, or in this case the window, should be a white light and your colors in the shot should fall into place. They should look natural. When using tungsten lights, however, we're dealing with a different color temperature of light. For these types of fixtures, what we sometimes refer to as hot lights, we set our cameras to 3200K. And that's true for LEDs that are set to 3200K as well. As you can see, the light in my shot is now looking more white and the colors around it are looking more true to life, even though it's a different color temperature. But if you move my camera back to the window, you'll see that my window light is very blue. Since we can only pick one temperature in our camera, this can get a little tricky. When dealing with lights, a lot of current LEDs are daylight balance. And while hot lights produce some amazing colors, they get really hot to the touch and draw a lot of power. When you have a fixed light that isn't bicolor, you use gels to correct that color temperature. And while there's nothing wrong with using gels, it's much quicker and efficient to simply adjust the dial on the back of your light. And there you have it. You pick the color temperature that you require. Now for a simple and one of many scenarios where I would use a bicolor light is right here and right now in this video. If you can see the LED lights on the wall behind me are tungsten balanced, which means they're around 3200 Kelvin. And if I wanted them to look white, I could simply shoot everything with tungsten balanced lights and set my camera to 3200K. So let me show you what that looks like. Here, now everything's the same color temperature and we're balanced. But what if I wanted the backlights to look nice and warm like they did before? Well, I would set my camera back to 5600K and I would light myself with the 150B set to 5600K. I would have my backlight, the 60B, set to 3200K. I tend to use a backlight when I'm shooting any talking head segment, but in this case, I want that backlight to feel motivated. So I have it tungsten balanced, 3200K. But if I have it daylight balanced, it would look a little different. And let me show you what that would look like. And while it doesn't look awful, I still want my separation light to match, as though to give the illusion that the lights in the back are providing the separation light here on my shoulder. But what I've really done this whole time is set that color temperature to match the warmth of the lights in the back, just by moving a simple dial. So let's switch it back to what we had before. There are countless reasons as to why having bicolor lights in your kit is a must nowadays, especially if that means taking less gear with you on the go because let's be honest, we've all left our gels back at home at some point and we have to run to the store to get some more and that just sucks. So as always, I hope this video has helped some of you out there and thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.